Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Art by Julie E. I'm Julie E. Today we're going to be working on an eight inch round Nara. It's really good stuff. It works really well. It's very forgiving paper. Um, it's easy to erase your mistakes off of. And this is for the Earth Day collaboration, theme, get together, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, <laughs> and I really want to thank Nate Bright for including me in this. Um, so we're going to be using alcohol inks, as you can tell by the narrow paper. Uh, the colors we've got are Baja Blue by Jacquard Pinata. We've got a GNC by T-Rex. We have Kelp Forest by T-Rex. And we've got Botanical, I thought that was pretty appropriate, <laughs> by Ranger Inks. Okay, um, the alcohol we're using is 99% isopropyl alcohol. Um, I suggest you stay 91% or above. When using this, please use protection. I am going to go get some gloves real quick and be right back. People always say, Julie, why are you so sticky about all the safety stuff? Well, for one thing, this is not your mom's alcohol that is in the medicine cabinet and under the bathroom sink. This is for technical use, okay? This is not the 70 some percent alcohol. This is 99%. The fumes off of it are very, very strong, okay? And um, you don't wanna be breathing them in. They will kill brain cells, all right? There's warning labels on the back of safety and everything too. And yeah, you do not want to make contact with it. So it can be harmful to your skin, to your eyes, to your breathing, all that stuff. I have got an air purifier, a very good air purifier going. Got my window open. I've got fans in the background going. You can probably hear them. So, and normally I wear a respirator, but I'm talking to you all. <laughs> so, all right, let's get started on this. Um, I decided to go with blues and greens because they are very earthy, and that's what I want to do. And um, yeah. I'll, I'll explain the process as we go from here. Um, I will be using my little Berta Mini um, with the air condenser off of it and we'll mostly be working just on low, um, low fan speed and regular heat setting, so no cool shots. These are the bottles of alcohol that we're using. Let's see. I'm just gonna put a little, I also have a puffer. I'll probably use a puffer too, so. There we go. 
I think it's kind of earthy. Okay, I'm going to go spray this with a couple coats of Kumar and come right back. Okay, we're back. It is dry from the Kumar. Very pretty. Now what comes the fun part. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, we have got a Da Vinci Pro panel. This is a 10 by 10. This will look beautiful, I think. Dead center. And then we'll put our tree. So, how do we do this? Well, we just... <laughs> we just unwrap it and go. That's the great thing about these. They are awesome. They are already gessoed and they have an ultra smooth finish which makes them perfect uh -oh, for alcoholics. So they usually need no prep at all. Let me see if I can buff that out with some alcohol. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, I was not expecting that. Hiding under the label, Mr. Da Vinci. There we go. Just a paper towel and some alcohol. Buffs that stuff right out. All right, there we go. All right, so we have that. <laughs> you hear my neighbor's doggy sparking? I can very loudly. Hopefully I will have some background music going and you won't hear a bunch of that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to put some heavy gloss. This is super heavy gloss. We're gonna thinly coat that on the back of this and adhere it to our wood panel substrate, okay? Pretty dead center, don't you? Yeah, voila. Voila. Okay, now we're just gonna smack that down into place. And if you did it right, you shouldn't have really any gel squishing out the sides, but if you do, just wipe it off. It'll dry clear. And see, that's why we sprayed this with Kamar, so that if there's any scratches, it does not scratch and pull your alcohol inks away. It protects it somewhat from being damaged. There we go. Okay, while this is drying, it's not moving now. It is stuck to the surface. So while this is drying underneath, let's go ahead and add our little uh, mixing relief. You can get this uh, in a kit off of Amazon. I will put the link for it in the description. I love this stuff. It looks like molten gold. And um, yeah, it's a mixing relief. And once it, it goes on white, and then once it dries clear, then you can add your gold leaf. want you to believe don't ever turn back on your dreams it's all in your hands a change is near close your eyes listen the sound is so clear
we just let this sit and dry. And I need to try and find my cap. There it is. <laughs> Found it. Okay, we're back. And you see how the relief gel, the relief gel came out white and now it's clear. That means it is the perfect time to put on your gold leaf. All right. The trick to this is gold side up, gray side down. So dull gray, down. Gold shiny, up. And a nice, pretty stiff old brush really helps to work this in too. But if you don't have one, you can always use your finger. sheet here that's why I'm not seeing it <laughs> okay there we go much easier now that we have the extra sheet off hmm try and push the brush down into those nooks and crannies spray it with some um, UV gloss varnish and then we can resin it. We'll tape off the edges and yeah, go from there. Be back in a snap. Okay guys, we are back. What I have done is I have taped off all my sides and back. Whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to bump you and shake you all around. But yeah, so the back is all taped, the sides are all taped. Um, because I will let whoever purchases this decide how they want the sides done. If they want them painted white, if they'd like them paint, if they'd like them stained like a walnut or a cherry, mahogany, etc. So now remember what we did with the original Yupo was we just sprayed a coat of the Kumar varnish on it just to kind of protect it from any scratches and um, alcohol bleeds from the Pebio mixation and everything else. So now what I have done is I have sprayed a couple coats of the Krylon UV resistant clear coating um, to protect the alcohol inks from fading. So we've got a few coats of that on there and now we're going to take it over to the other table and give it a coat of resin. Hey, I we're back. Um, like I said, I'm using the Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin, and I've already mixed my one part to one part in here. And what I'm going to do is add just the tiniest, tiniest little bit of Bling It Gold Sparkle to my resin. I think it makes a beautiful little effect. Um, how many ounces would I say was in here? Um, we're close to four ounces. Close to four ounces, so yeah. All right, so this is how tiny of an amount we're gonna put in. 
This is a standard little popsicle stick. Just that itty bitty bit. Not even that much. There we go. Okay. That is mixed. I don't know if you can see it or not. See, it's got that little tiniest hint of a shimmer to it, which I think will make this really pop. Just checking my sides, making sure I've got it all the way up over the edges, but none is spilling over the edges. So I guess you would call this basically like a dome effect. Um, but yeah, a lot of times resin won't go where resin isn't at. Unless it rolls over on the edge, then it'll pull itself down. But as long as you keep your resin completely clean off your edges and you haven't over poured the top, it shouldn't, and your, and your area is level, it shouldn't pull itself over because resin is self-leveling. It is always going to seek the lowest corner and then puddle up there. And if the puddle gets too big, it will draw itself over. So, Okay, before we get to dry results, I want to invite you to please like, share, and subscribe this video if you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. And also, Take a look at everyone else's videos in this collaboration. I uh, believe Nate Bright Art is going to have a playlist of everyone that has participated. And um, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please go check out all the other artists. And uh, oh, there's my cute little tomatoes. <laughs> there's my hibiscus. Um, yeah, and oh yeah, I got, I got hooked on little succulents. Thanks to Mina Villegas. Go check out her video too. Uh, she participated too and took you on a tour of her garden. Oh my God, her succulents are gorgeous. So, okay, we're coming up shortly here, I believe, on my dry results. <laughs> but I will have a um, link to Nate Bright Arts channel so that you can go check out his Wild Roots video. There's the succulents. And, um, on his Wild Roots video, he's probably got the playlist linked in his description. So, okay, I now believe we are coming up on the dry results. And I love how it came out. I love how that um, Bling It Gold just added that really gorgeous pop of shimmer in there. And yeah, I had no resin runoff over the edges. It just came out gorgeous so yeah be kind to the earth and it'll be kind back to you that goes with everything people animals yeah all right till next time loves and hugs y'all bye Wanna lie in the sun